Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Disney's Contemporary Resort and we have dining reservations at Chef Mickey's because they brought back the full buffet. They have a brand new menu and I wanted to come out and show you guys and let you know what I think. This is definitely one of my favorite character dining meals because you get to meet the Fab Five. You get Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, Pluto, and Donald. So we're gonna meet some characters, eat some food, and have a beautiful Chef Mickey's kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. Disney's Contemporary Resort is such a beautiful resort and I love coming and visiting here. We have some friends that are actually staying here tonight so we'll probably hang out and check out some of the resort amenities on top of getting dinner at Chef Mickey's and I'm so excited. Chef Mickey's has always been a buffet, but since the shutdown, they switched over to like a family style dining where they would bring out like a skillet to the table. And I am so excited to see the buffet back and they switched over the menu. So they're gonna be trying some new things and I can't wait to show you. Chef Mickey's is located inside the Contemporary Resort and it's really awesome because the monorail actually drives right through the restaurant. Look at that. Well, it drives right through the contemporary, but it drives through the restaurant as well. And I love it. Chef Mickey's is $62 for adults and $39 for children. And that's the going rate for like character dining experiences. And I think it's worth it more if it's an actual buffet compared to the family style dining. Here is a look at the menu for the dinner buffet and I have to say I'm pretty impressed. They have an Italian station with meatballs and marinara, pasta primavera and baked ziti. They've got an Asian station with orange chicken, fried pork dumplings and vegetable fried rice. They've got a Latin station with roasted pork and pickled red peppers and onions. They've got an American station with chicken, blackened shrimp and grits. A soup station with chicken noodle soup and sausage and kale soup. This is looking good, even some peel and eat shrimp. We'll dive in, I'll show you everything once we actually sit down and get ready to eat, but I've got, I've got high expectations right now. I wish I had enough time to actually rent a boat and go drive around Seven Seas Lagoon. Every time I come to the Contemporary, that's one of the things I just want to do. In fact, I think the last time I ate at Chef Mickey's, which was Thanksgiving, I think I rented a boat with my mom and sister and we drove around Seven Seas Lagoon. But we don't have enough time for that today because the boat rentals close at five and our reservation is at five. So we're just gonna hang out around here and wait for it's time to eat. Wait for the dinner bell. If you ever decide on coming to visit Chef Mickey's, always come to the back of the Contemporary Resort because they have this awesome photo opportunity with Mickey right here. Oh, and a crow it looks like. And it's always awesome. I always point it out because I think it's just such a hidden gem. Look at how beautiful this is out here. I've spent so many hours just enjoying sunrises and sunsets from this very dock right here. Anytime I actually stay here, I always wake up to catch the sunrise. And over there is the boat rentals. And it's actually really cheap. If you wanted to rent out a boat, and it, I think it sits up to 10 people, it's like $30, $45 per 30 minutes. And you get to just drive around all by yourself. It's really epic. All right, it was awesome to come hang outside for a little bit, but it's now time to head back up to Chef Mickey's and get ready for our dining reservation. And I'm excited. I'm going to see Mickey and Goofy and Donald. I love seeing all of them together because I think that's just such a rare occur like occurrence. I don't think any other character dining has the Fab Five in it. Like, I, I tried to think about it the other day, and none of them actually have all five of them there. They always have somebody different. So, I think this is the only place that you get to see them all together. And we have made it. We are all checked in, and we're just waiting for our table, and then we get to go in and enjoy the buffet. The dining room is so big here and the characters run around and they do a little dance number and it's really awesome but I think they actually changed uh, the character interactions a little bit so I'm going to show you real quick. The one thing that they actually changed up, all of the characters come to the table except for Mickey or Chef Mickey. You actually get to line up and meet Mickey Mouse. They have like a little Mickey meet and greet and it's over here where you get like a guaranteed photo pass photo with him and it's in front of the iconic Mickey, uh, Chef Mickey uh, dinner plate. So once we get done with dinner, we'll have to come and meet Mickey afterwards. I think that's really cool. 
I kind of like the fact that you have a designated meet and greet with Mickey instead of him coming to the table because a lot of the times when I go to the character dining, uh, I can never get a picture with the uh, characters themselves. And this one is actually photo pass. So your photo pass is included. And I don't know if any other character dining actually has photo pass photographers in the restaurant. I love how everything in here is Mickey shaped. You got Mickey shaped like little caddies. The tables have little Mickeys on them. And even the salt and pepper shakers. Well, they're not Mickey shaped, but they are Mickey fashioned. And it's really nifty in here. Here is a look at the buffet itself. We're gonna start off at the bread station. They got a nice little Mickey bread back there. We've got some hummus and then we've got some pisto. We got some other bread here. Oh, this focaccia bread is really awesome some breadsticks and some biscuits. I'm obsessed with those biscuits. They actually look like they're herb buttered. Not uh, that I'm all for. By the looks of the bread station, I really feel like that is the best bread station I think I've ever seen on a buffet. Too bad you can't eat the Mickey bread because that would be kind of cool. I've never seen them actually make the Mickey bread anywhere here at Disney World, only over at DCA. But I wouldn't mind nibbling on a Mickey year of bread. For the cold selection, they've got some couscous, they've got some pasta salad, got some salad over here, nice little build your own salad, fried chickpeas, shredded carrots, peel and eat shrimp. This is actually, oh look at the zucchini and the carrots back there, I'm actually all for that, and then lots of dressings. In the past, Chef Mickey's, I think, got a bad rep for their food. So I'm kind of excited because from what I see, just with the bread and the cold selection, I think it's a big step up. Now let's get into some of the other stations here. This one is the Italian stations. They've got meatballs there, pasta primavera, seafood fra davado. I think I said that wrong. Baked ziti with bolognese right there. Holy moly. I'm really loving the Italian station. And then over here, we've got roasted pork, yellow rice, and pigeon peas. This actually looks really good. And then some corn tortillas or flour tortillas, I think. Wow, this all looks absolutely amazing. They also have a carving station. And this is plant-based meatloaf, I believe. And then here is the herb-crusted New York strip loin. We've got some au jus over here with mushroom gravy. Look at the mushroom gravy. That actually looks amazing. Probably some horseradish sauce right there. They really, they're pulling out all the stops here. Holy moly. I feel like I'm going to be eating lots of soup here. Look at this sausage kale tortellini soup. And then the regular chicken noodle soup. Lots of noodles, lots of carrots, not all broth. And I like that it's like in short pans too. It's not even in like deep, like steam table pans. Whenever I'm showing you guys the buffet, I do it in sections because I'm not actually grabbing food. I'm just showing you guys the buffet, but the soup, the soup has got me excited. On this side, we've got some pickled red peppers and onions, chimichurri yuca bites. They've got some green beans, olive oil baked with salmon. Ooh, the salmon actually looks pretty good. I'm not a big salmon fan though, but that looks actually a little bit appetizing. And over here, we've got blackened shrimp and grits. We've got potato barrels and then some kind of roasted chicken. The blackened shrimp and grits look phenomenal. Look at those shrimp in there. Oh, I can't wait. I think I'm gonna dive in and start making a plate. It also looks like they have a little kid selection, but honestly, some of the food that's on the buffet already kind of looks like a kid selection, especially when it comes to like the potato barrels, but the kid selection looks good. I think there's a lot of things that I would eat there. Sometimes I'll find myself eating more food from the kid selection than I would the whole buffet. They've got house-made macaroni and cheese, chicken nuggets, roasted chicken legs, broccoli, carrots, and look, they're actually making some of the uh, vegetable stir fry or the rice over there right now. I love how they have everything cooking right here. On this side, they've got vegetable fried rice, vegetable stir fried, orange chicken, and then fried pork dumplings. The orange chicken actually looks really good and I'm all about the fried rice. All right, so I got my first plate and I'm trying one of everything. So I got just like little tiny pinches of food, but I still have to go to some of the stations because I couldn't fit it all on the plate. I still have to get my soup, which I know I'll eat a lot of soup, but also the Italian station. I need to go get some meatballs and uh, I feel like this is a good start right here. 
All right, we're gonna get into some of the food here. And I'm gonna try these pot stickers, and they kind of look like the Polynesian ones. So I'm a little bit intrigued. And uh, we're gonna give them a go. And also the noodles also look like the noodles from Mohana. So like if that's if that's true, then that is a game changer right there. So first we're gonna start with the pot stickers. They do indeed taste like Ohana's pot stickers, but without the sauce though. Now I wanna try the noodles. If these are Ohana noodles, do you know how crazy that would be? Mm. They might be Ohana noodles, but it's definitely a different sauce. I don't think those are exactly Ohana noodles. Now we gotta try the fried rice. I like the fried rice a little bit. That's actually really good. The cast member that's taking care of me told me that the shrimp and grits had a little kick to them. So I'm excited to try it, but that's a good looking shrimp right there. That's a good looking shrimp, I can say. Here we go, shrimp. Oh yeah. That's fantastic. Now, Let's try the orange chicken. Orange chicken is good too. Holy moly. So far, I am truly impressed with what I've had. And now we're gonna try the New York strip. I wish they had the prime rib still. When it was family style, I think they served prime rib and I don't think they're doing it anymore. They switched up to the sliced New York strip. I should have grabbed some of that au jus because I like to dip the au jus in there. You guys know, you guys know how it's done. Oh, and look at that, there's Pluto with those awesome whiskers. <laughs> oh, yep, I didn't even have to ask, guys, I knew it. Those, those springy whiskers. Well, thank you, Pluto, everything is delicious. <laughs> Thanks, pal. So far, everything has been pretty good. I like the New York strip loin. I mean, I would prefer prime rib. I think anybody would, but it's still pretty decent. The orange chicken is, it's okay. I mean, it's not like, you know, authentic orange chicken. Probably my favorite thing on the plate was probably that uh, blackened shrimp, the shrimp and grits itself. That was really good. And the mashed potatoes were phenomenal. And now I think I'm gonna go get some soup. It's time for soup, I'm a big soup guy. Seriously, look at this soup. Oh my lord, I'm in danger. I, I love tell. soup. <laughs> I love soup, I'm in danger. <laughs> I <can tell. laughs> yep. I think we're gonna double up on the soup. Gotta get some of this kale and tortellini here and the sausage. There you go. Very cheesy. All right, it's time to get down to the soup business here. I like the noodle and vegetable ratio here. Good soup, good soup, I like the noodles. I'm not too, I, I don't think I like the broth that much though. Mm. Now we gotta try this soup. We're hopping from soup, this is the sausage carol tortellini. Oh yeah, that's where it's at. Oh yeah, this soup is good, holy moly. This soup is okay, it's good chicken noodle soup. I think the soup that's actually over at uh, the uh, Contempo Cafe is better. But this one right here, I can binge eat this. I could eat a lot of this soup actually. It's dangerous. All right, enough of the soup business. Now it's time to head up and hit the Italian selection, the Italian selection, the Italian section, and then also maybe some of those biscuits that we were eyeing up before. And maybe the breadsticks. And, you know, and maybe the focaccia. I think we're gonna go heavy on the bread. All right, here is my next plate. Like I said, we went heavy on the bread. Look at the size of that focaccia bread there. It looks so good. And I got the breadstick, and I got the special biscuits. I got all of the pasta there. It all kind of looks together, but it's all separate. So they got the meatballs, I got the primavera, I got the seafood one, and the big ziti. Looks like you got Minnie and Pluto coming down right now. Very fancy. All right, I'm gonna try the meatball here. Oh wait, Minnie's here. Look at that. Hi Minnie, thanks for having me. Are you doing the pastries? The pastries today, I love it. 
Yo, Mini creeped up on me as I was about to bite into this meatball, and <laughs> I'm glad I stopped. <laughs> you know, I always love seeing the characters, and I, I try not, I try to like not like miss them, so I have to eat usually very quick. And now they're gonna be coming around, but look at that, I broke into the meatball. All right, here we go, meatball. It's okay. It's not the best meatball. I mean, it's hard. It's, you know what I mean? It's a buffet meatball. But <laughs> now I'm gonna try the biscuit. And I, I feel like these are the biscuits that they serve for breakfast, but I think they just put like garlic butter on top of them and then serve them for dinner, which is a great idea. So we're gonna try the biscuit. Well, butter my biscuit. The Italian selection the <laughs> isn't the best but it's good for like buffet, I guess I would say. I've had this focaccia bread before and that right there is the best. This focaccia bread is phenomenal and I can't wait to actually dive into it. But now I wanna try a little bit of the shrimp that comes in the uh, pasta del forno. I'm pretty sure I'm still not saying that right. Here comes Chef Goofy. Chef Goofy in the house. How are you, pal? Good? <laughs> I love it. I love the outfit too. You're looking very snazzy. Oh, oh, got a twirl. Fancy. Oh, look at that. Chef Donald is now here too. <laughs> it's alright, Donald. <laughs> what did you cook today? Oh, yeah, you, you ate it all, huh? I like that. <laughs> Very awesome. All right, so I'm a tough sell when it comes to Italian food. It was okay, but it wasn't like the best thing ever. I mean, it's not like it's an Italian restaurant. I like that they have a big selection of variety, and I think that's really cool. And also the characters are really fun. They're coming up to the tables. Where I'm sitting though, the lighting isn't the greatest, so I can't get a lot of good video because they kind of look blacklit, like the, the, the background does. Uh, but they're still really awesome and friendly. And I can't wait to actually see Mickey. And we still have to look at the desserts. They have a whole dessert like buffet. Here is a look at the desserts. They've got some hot apple crisp, it looks like. Then they've got a cannoli cheesecake. Look at that. It's got a little Chef Mickey medallion on there. It's got some tres leches cake. Oh, this tres leches actually looks good. A boba tea mousse cup. Never seen that before. A regular Mickey vanilla cupcake right here. And then it also looks like a mini red velvet cupcake. So not that much variety. I thought there was more, but it's just duplicated sides. The only thing that I got from the dessert bar is this Trutch Lesse's cake. And it's actually very good. It's very milky. I like it a lot. But I also got a cookie. And I noticed that some of the cookies have less chocolate chips in them and it made me think of casino and the blueberry muffin scene where robert de niro said i'm gonna need equal amount of blueberries in each muffin every muffin should have the same amount of blueberries but it just made me think of that and i thought it was kind of funny but the cookies are really good Another cool thing they give you is a little autographed uh, postcard here by everybody and you can see all of the chefs riding in the front of the monorail. I want to ride in the front of the monorail. Alright, I think I'm all done with my food and now that we had some dessert I think we're going to actually make our way over and uh, see Chef Mickey himself. We're going to see if Chef Mickey is actually available for photos now. I don't know if he is or not, but we're gonna peek over and see. Oh yeah, there he is. Hey friend. Hey chef, chef. <laughs> chef Mickey, compliments to the chef. The food was fantastic, thank you so much. Oh yeah, coming in, all right. The fancy little plate too. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I know, it's really nice. But it, the food was delicious, thank you. I appreciate it so much. Always excellent and wonderful to see you. And uh, thanks for having us. <laughs> 
I love that little Chef Mickey photo opportunity. And overall, I gotta say, I really enjoyed this buffet. In fact, I think this has the best variety when it comes to food. Something for like everyone, something for adventurous eaters, something for picky eaters, and something just for the kids. I really did love it a lot. I think it's a huge step up from what it used to be. And I would definitely come back here again. In fact, I cannot wait to bring my mom and sister here because they came during the family style dining and I would love to bring them back and show them what it's like now. And overall, I think it's amazing. I think it's great. I think it might be one of the best buffets on Disney property. And uh, I think we're gonna go uh, hang out with our friends now. Had some nice dinner. Chef Mickey's was good. Time to eat. Time to not, time to hang out. Like I mentioned, my friends are actually staying club level and that is all the way at the top of the contemporary. You see where that little room is up there? That's where we're going. You need special access to actually get up there. And uh, it's really cool. When we get up there, I'll show you around. You get like free drinks and desserts and even dinner. Even though we already ate, but I still want to show you. It's actually really awesome. And I think this one they call the atrium. I'm pretty sure it's the atrium. A couple of my favorite things from Chef Mickey's were probably the grilled mixed vegetables like the zucchini and asparagus, but I also really loved the uh the uh, shrimp and, uh, not shrimp, the sausage and kale soup. I thought that was fantastic. I mean, overall, like I said, I think I loved a little bit of everything. To get up to the tower or the atrium club, you actually have to scan your card to get access to the 12th floor. The 12th floor, you don't say, and also Mickey talks. The 12th floor! The 12th floor. <laughs> Once you get up, you actually have access to all of these goodies. You got Coca-Colas, you've got Heinekens, you've got everything. And it's literally just grab and go. Michelob Ultra, they've got some wine here. Look at this, coffee. Look at that fancy water. We've got desserts. Look at all this, this is all included, it's all free. Oh my lord, and then you got a bunch of food too. I wasn't expecting this at all. Chicken. Mediterranean pork, mac and cheese, potato barrels, charcuterie. Look at this. This is impressive, I say. On top of all the amazing like drinks and desserts that you get when you stay club level here at the Contemporary, you also get a pretty amazing view of the fireworks in the Magic Kingdom. Whether you're staying on the opposite side of the hotel or if you're staying on a park view, you can still come to this little club level and they have access to the balconies. And I think that's pretty nifty. So if you don't have a theme park view room, you can just come out on this little balcony here and take a look at that. Isn't she a beaut, Clark? This is amazing. I love it here so much. It's so beautiful and breathtaking. And you can really see Tron going crazy over there. Look at that. It's truly amazing. This is also the highest floor for any of the rooms. You can see we're actually on the top here. And you can look down at the mural here. Oh, that's actually a little scary. I don't wanna do that anymore. <laughs> My friend is actually staying in a non-theme park view room and it's just as beautiful, the view itself, because you get to see a little bit of everything around Orlando. As you can see, this is Bay Lake Tower here and this is the non-theme park view. Might get out of service because there's a lot of blinky lights. That's the boat dock that we were at earlier today. And then you can see the uh, icon, the wheel at Icon Park. And then over on this side, you can see Epcot in the far distance. Look at that, a little Epcot action. I don't know if you can see it, it's that big glowy globe there. It's a big glowy golf ball, as they say. And also you can get a good look at the pool because they're, they're actually redoing the pool so it's completely empty there. Isn't that so cool? Also, I'm not too sure if any of you noticed my shirt today and who is on my shirt. Let me know in the comments if you can guess, but it's got a lot of meats and I know what I'm about, son, especially with the, uh, the meat and cheese platter. And just like that, we went from the top all the way down to the very bottom. 
So I guess with that, I am done here today. It was really fun going to see my friend and I'm happy I got to show you the club level. I didn't do much, I just wanted to say hi to them and they showed me their room and it was really cool and it was nice to chit chat for a little bit. And now uh, it's time to head home, see Gracie Girl, recap on the night and uh, call it a night. Before we make it home, a quick pit stop at the good old Publix. Have to stop in and grab some things for the house. Oh, everyone loves a little Publix trip. Looks like they're really excited for St. Patrick's Day. We've got Guinness here. We've got some cabbage. We've got some corned beef. Got some shamrock cookies. A little bit of everything. One of my favorite things about coming to Publix is their excellent selection of iced teas and lemonades and they actually have limited edition flavors and this limited edition flavor uh, maybe of the month is a berries and cream lemonade. Berries and cream, berries and cream. I think I'm gonna get this. I've had it before. It's actually really delicious. I also might want to get some old-fashioned lemonade too. Another thing I've been really loving here at Publix are these overnight oats and they're two for five They're on sale. So I think I might get some they have the cocoa espresso one Which is absolutely amazing and then they have the praline pecan crunch that one's good as well And then over here they have pineapple pecan. They're all really amazing. I think I'm actually gonna get a cocoa and a praline pecan very fancy Everybody loves Publix trips. Look at this. Getting some fancy lemonade and some fancy oatmeal. Gracie, I'm home. There she is. Ooh, it's Wiggle Butt. Wiggle Butt. Look at that smile. Look at that smile. You want to go for a walk? Let's go. <laughs> All right, now that Gracie had her walk, let's crack open this berries and cream lemonade. And I'm lucky because I get to drink it out of the carton because I live a single life and there's no one here to share except for Gracie, but I don't think she can have any of this. Ooh, it tastes like berries and cream, berries and cream. It also tastes like cream savers, like, you know, the, the cream savers, the hard candy. It tastes just like that. It's very good. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. <laughs> Random. We ended up getting some lemonade and making a Publix trip, but it's all in good fun. And I had a lot of fun at Chef Mickey's and hanging out at the Contemporary. Now we're home and it's time to call it a night. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.